Happy Homer Wednesday, guys. Um, this uh, time I'll try to keep it very short. Uh, I'm just going to try and uh, review another of Tony's um, Tony Yates uh, homebrewed beers that he gave me. Um, the first one I tried uh, was very, very good, and it was his Irish Red. And both me and the missus liked it very, very much. So I'm looking forward to uh, this one. Uh, as you may be guessing from the glasses, it's uh, a vice beer. And this is a Hefeweizen. Which I'm going to open and review for you. So a little bit of a hiss there. So, I could have poured uh, more ag more aggressively on that one, but, so, just a little cap on it, but the carbonation is still very good, so I'm taking the blame for the, the weak pour there. Uh, the color is very uh, light, like you would expect from Hefeweizen. Uh, I also think this beer is very clear uh, for a Hefeweizen, it's very clear. Um, yeah, it does smell good. Um, I'm getting a, I'm getting a lot of esters. Well, uh, banana aroma there, uh, which is to be expected from these kind of beers. Very nice. So let's dive in. Cheers, Tony. Yeah, that's a very nice. Um, it's a very nice vice beer, Tony. Um, very nice. Uh, it does come across as uh, pretty clean. I mean, I think this is probably the cleanest tasting half of ice and I've had. Uh, but it's very refreshing. Uh, it is perfectly carbonated. And. Um, Wow, it, it has a, a very, very nice aftertaste with a little bit more banana. Um, I'm going to say just ripe, just ripe banana. Not premature or overripe, but this is just ripe. This is very good. Oh, oh this is nice. I wonder how you get the carbonation so good when you bottle from the keg. I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this is not bottle condition. This is probably kegged and then maybe he has a beer gun. I don't. Um, <laughs> so, well, this is a very nice brew. I would be proud to, to serve this to my... Uh, guests or friends. This is very very nice. Let's see uh, if I can warm it up a little bit and get a little bit more aroma and a flavor off it. It has been sitting in my fridge now for two weeks about. So yeah, I still have one more to go. The uh, brown ale. I'm looking forward to that. I mean based on the two Last brews, that's going to be a good one. Hint of floral, floral, uh, floral notes and fruitiness. Also, just a hint of breadiness. Like, uh, 
oatmeal cookies or just way way in the back though for me at least on, on the aroma there As it warms up a little bit, the banana really, really takes over the banana flavor, but it's really refreshing at the same time. I mean, if I move the light over here, maybe you can see some of the, the upside down snow, it's not a snowstorm, it's a very nice snowfall. So cheers, Tony. That's really, uh, really nice of you to give me uh, your homebrew, and I'm giving you my honest opinion on it. Uh, I would pay money for this as well. Yeah, I would, definitely. I would buy the my my favorite commercial at the Weissen is the Paul Honor. Uh, so far, I haven't tried a lot of them, but this one is right up along with it. So cheers, that's very, really, very nice. Two camera, 17 cheers.